On August 28, 1993, Fox Kids debuted a brand new show that featured five teenagers being recruited by an alien being and his AI helper to combat a recently released evil witch. The five teenagers were Jason, Trini, Zach, Kimberly and Billy. The alien being was Zordon and his helper was Alpha 5 and the evil witch was Rita Repulsa. Little did Fox Kids and the show's owner Saban know that this unknown show would become a 90s phenomenon and spawn a franchise that is still ongoing today after 25 years with 25 seasons and various toys, games, comic books, movies and numerous fan made creations honouring it. Today we will be taking a look at the history of Power Rangers. Power Rangers is the American remake of a popular Japanese show called Super Sentai, and the majority of the fight scenes featuring the rangers in costume are taken directly from that show. The main plot of the two shows are identical, with the exception of changes in characters' names, setting locations and subplot stories. The concept of an American remake was conceived by Haim Saban, who while on business in Japan, saw an episode of the 8th season of Super Sentai series Chodenshi Bioman and realised that there was a possibility for an American version. However, it would take Saban 5 years to successfully pitch the show, at which point Fox Kids said they would air it. Due to the nature of Power Rangers taking most of their footage from Super Sentai, most notably the series Kyuru Sentai Zuo Ranger, the writers had to create storylines around the footage provided in order to create a story which led to some rather odd episodes and voiceover recordings. The first series Mighty Morphing Power Rangers set the guiding principles that all future seasons would ultimately follow. A group of teenagers slash young adults would be chosen to become Power Rangers in order to combat an evil force. These teenagers would be given power morphers and gain access to superhuman traits such as super strength, endurance, speed, specialized weaponry depending on the season and the character slash dinosaur slash ninja etc that they portrayed. Throughout all Power Ranger seasons there is a similar plot structure. The villain would devise a plot to take over, send down minions to attack, send in a boss monster, throw them to giant size and watch as they are destroyed by the Power Ranger team and then repeat the process throughout the season. In order for the team to summon forth their ranger powers, they use the morphers accompanied by a chant, the most famous of all these being, it's morphing time. First used by Jason Scott, the original Red Ranger. The first team, now known as Legendary Rangers, were made up of the following. Jason Scott, the Red Ranger, was portrayed by Austin St. John. Trini Kwan, the Yellow Ranger, was portrayed by Fu Thrang. An interesting side note, the Yellow Ranger in the Super Sentai series is played by a man. Zachary Zack Taylor, the Black Ranger, was played by Walter Emmanuel Jones. Kimberly Ann Hart, the Pink Ranger, was portrayed by Amy Jo Johnson. And William Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, was portrayed by David Yost. In addition to these abilities and weaponry, the Rangers would be able to control machines called Zords that would be linked to them and represent their unique colour and character and could combine with each other to form the Megazord. The very first Zords were based on prehistoric dinosaurs and mammals and included Tyrannosaurus Dinosaur for the Red Ranger, the Mastodon Dinosaur for the Black Ranger, Triceratops Dinosaur for the Blue Ranger, Sabertooth Tiger Dinosaur for the Yellow Ranger, and the pterodactyl dinosaur for the pink ranger, and also included the titanus carrier zord who would be able to take all the zords into battle if required. Each of the zords were capable of taking the monsters individually as well as part of the mega zord combination. The final addition to the original team would arrive in the form of Tommy Oliver, portrayed by Jason David Frank. Tommy Oliver was introduced as the evil green ranger under the control of Rita and had access to the dragon dagger and dragon zord. Tommy didn't stay evil for very long and soon became the sixth member of the team. The character was not around for long however as the writers cut him from the show when the Green Ranger lost his powers. But after receiving letters from parents telling them about how their children were upset at his departure, they quickly brought him back as the White Ranger. Both Tommy Oliver and Jason David Frank have been referenced and considered to be inseparable from the franchise 
with Tommy being the longest serving ranger of all time due to his roles as the following. He has portrayed the Green Ranger, White Ranger, White Ninja Ranger, Red Zero Ranger, Red Turbo Ranger and Black Dino Ranger as well as the evil Lord Draken in the new Shattered Grid storyline. Mighty Morphing Power Rangers is unique as it in fact lasted for three seasons and it still is the longest running series, while its successes would only last for one, except for Samurai, Megaforce, Dino Charge and Ninja Steel all have two. Mighty Morphing is also the only season to have been updated to modern standard in 2010. Since Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Power Ranger franchise has been entertaining viewers around the world and shows no signs of stopping anytime soon, with the latest series Beast Morphers due to air in 2019. Well Atomites, this was a short history of the Power Rangers. I'll return with a brand new Geek Universe video for you all tomorrow, but until then you guys stay atomic, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!